We're just going to give you the tour of our JK Journey Outback. It's a 2021, 19 foot, so follow me. You walk straight into the living space. Really lovely large table, which is brilliant for prepping food and stuff. We've got a grill and oven and cooktop. Come here, obviously you've got your sink here. This is really good. It's a chopping board and it doubles up as um, when you have, dip, if you want to have a dip, carrot sticks and stuff. Come through here, there's lots of storage drawers. There's pot drawers under here as well. Um, nice size bed. This pulls out as well under here so you can extend the bed and pull that out. And then you pull that forward, have a bolster that goes in at the back. Wardrobe space. Little drawers there. You've even got little cupboards either side. Um, you've got these vents which are really good. So you can have it both ways for mosquito nets. And you can also block out the sun. So they're really awesome. This is brilliant. You can open this window, let loads of air through. We've also had the optional extra, the Zorocco fans, which are really good. Three speeds. They let out quite a lot of air. Overhead storage as well, so it's like loads of space. Um, comes with a TV with a DVD player. I know it's old school now, DVDs, but we, we have a little pack of DVDs as an emergency because there's going to be some places where you don't get no internet, no TV signal, the weather might blow in, chucking it down with rain, and you think, right, I want to stick a movie on. And this extends round to your living space where you can lay in bed and watch TV, so that's really cool. Um, what else have we got? There's a smoke alarm and carbon monoxide alarm. And here we have the aerial. So you just you wind it up and down so that will go down, up. Now that goes down that way. Oh no, we haven't put it up yet. That goes up, <laughs> even that way and down. It's really easy. And then you can pull that down and turn it to position where the signal is. So we would advise, look at everybody else on the campsite, see where theirs is angled, and obviously do the same. Um, here we have microwave. <coughs> You've got your stereo system there. You can also plug it in so you can get surround sound out of the speakers. Um, obviously fridge freezer. And this is our projector system which tells you how much water is in the tanks, how much is in your grey water, how much solar input, your batteries. Um, maybe I'll let Gary maybe talk a bit about that one, because he knows all, all about that. And your obvious bathroom, nice size. You have washing machine, 3.3 kilograms. That's been amazing, really good. I did. I personally thought, now nah, we don't need a washing machine, but now we've got it, it's brilliant. Um, loads of storage, drawers, cupboards, the <coughs> nice sink. The shower is really big, so plenty of space. You've got a vent at the top there as well, and a little fan. You can put on the, a little, like, little extractor fan as well. You've got a light in here. So it's really good. Got a, a vase, privacy screen if you need it. So that's really good. Um, all the batteries are all under the bed. There's a storage under there as well. We've got lithium batteries. Um, can't think of anything else. Gary is now going to show you. If, I'm going to get him actually to go over this and the outside. Okay. So let's swap over. <clears throat> right, so what we've done, we uh, it came with two lithium-ion batteries, two 100 amp hours. So what we've done, we've taken them out, 
and we've installed two two hundreds. So now we've got a four hundred amp hour system. Um, so we should have absolutely loads of power. We will now be able to run the, uh, the microwave, the washing machine, the air con, a kettle, a toaster, an iron, basically anything we want to do um, 240 we can do because we've, um, we've got it all wired up. So it all runs a 240 with a um, inverter, 3000 watt inverter. And then what we've done, we've changed it from 200 to, shows you there, uh, to 400 amps now. Um, also that's our water tanks there, that's what we've got in the batch at the moment, 93%, that's 93% obviously of um, 400 amps, so there's absolutely loads and loads and loads of power. We, we should never really run out of power, should we? No. Um, can I show you outside? So stepping outside, we've got um, two speakers outside, so we can have music inside, music out or combined. Um, we've got an outside light there, we've got an LED light here as well, a big strip light that goes all along. We've also got a uh, drop down table here, and that's got a little light underneath there, so you can light that up. We've got a power point, we've got a, a um, cigarette lighter, and we have a um, t uh, aerial um, feed as well, so if you want to put the telly out here, or, or we, we bought kettles out here, things like that. We have, um, Boot one of the boot lockers on this side, just stuff full of all your pipe work and all your bits and pieces. You want to take it, basically, all your rubbish. It goes in there. We come around here, we've got two gas bottles in there. Uh, on the front, we have the uh, Turtle Tracks sign on the front, so when you're in campsite, people can see who you are. Hopefully, we start following you, like some of you guys. Um, around here, we have the outdoor hot and cold shower. When you come off the beach, you wash your feet down. Um, that's the other side of the boot locker, small on this end. That's your gas for your hot water, your shower. So that's that. And then here, we've got that's your mains feed for your um, put it around here, so it mains feed for your um, when you're on site. And you've got two water tanks there. Um, there are uh, 80 litres of these. And, uh, and then underneath here you've got your two, you so you can release the water if you're able to get the water out of the tanks. <coughs> and then along here you've got your electrical cord cart, and you've got your fuses there, fuse board. Um, and then under this end, that's where the favourite job is, a, a job that Denise doesn't really like, but Gazzy seems to get to do. <laughs> So that's the toilet, and then you've got the grey water tank underneath there which catches the water, and then that's the outlet for the washing machine when we use the washing machine. And these are outlets for the uh, fridge, and that's the air intake, that's the air intake, and that's just the gas here and there. Um, that's about it really, nothing else is important. I forgot to tell them something really, really important, and you're going to have to come back inside. You're going to have to follow me oh. in. What have I done? What have I done something wrong? No, no, something really, really important, <coughs> and I can't oh. believe I forgot to tell you. What? Um, our mascots. Oh, yeah. This is Patch, and this is Wally, and this is Ellie. Oh. And, uh,. They come travelling with us everywhere. Everywhere we I, go, yeah. I just can't believe I left them out of the video. I know. They feel left out, I can see that. There's a tear in the eye there, in the corner of the eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks very much for watching. And um, yeah. Don't, don't forget to subscribe yep. and hit that notifications bell because we're going to be travelling all around Australia. See you guys. Bye. Bye. In this cupboard here, we forgot to say is a few gadgets this is your hot water to tell you what temperature your hot water is on and these buttons here this is my favorite this extends and retracts the blind so i'm going to press the button and it extends out <coughs> and then you've got um, adjustment here so you 
do the same on the other end. Fantastic. Too easy. <laughs>